first flight of the SEMA X8C with the camera. Hopefully I'll, hopefully I'll get the camera turned on. That's what I'm most worried about. Here I got this uh, stock battery. And we're just going to kind of excited about getting this. And it's a very nice Christmas present from my sweetheart. So, let's do the right thing here and make it fly. Okay, so there is an on-off switch, which is nice. I like that. Camera's attached, car is attached. And we're blinded, I think. The camera is this button here. I hope. <laughs> A little trimming, it's the wind now too. And you can see the power on this is pretty pretty impressive. Really no comparison at all to the Team X5. See how she does. A little flight around the campground. Give it the old one two. Now the range on this is supposed to be bit better. Funnels to get it down. I mean, to get that high up. And it seems to be coming down. I would think anything this heavy would want to come down. Pitch pent all the way forward. Deceptively strong. It's it down on the ground. It doesn't feel like anything. But yeah, now I see up there. Yeah, it was just, it was really being blown. Down here, it's pretty calm. As you can see, it's just a really beautiful day, beautiful sky. And this really is a beautiful flyer. that GPS very much on your own now. Now it's really moving.
straight back to the strength of the camera. And get three cameras going at once. Hopefully, I was able to get the drone camera working. Man, is she big. Anything I think ought to have a damn stewardess on it. Well, maybe not quite that big, but yeah, this thing really dwarfs the X5C. Let's say you hold it up next to the Chirson CX20, they look about exactly the same size to me. Really the main difference with this one is that it doesn't have GPS. I'd say this one is also more fun to fly than the CX-20, which hardly has any maneuverability at all. This is like a little, gives you a little bit of a, tiny bit of a stunt flyer. <laughs> Just more so than the CX-20, but you know, I'll tell you, these, these high-end quads are great for uh, taking photos. I mean, I got a little disoriented there, so I'm going to bring it back. These higher-end quads are great for uh, picture-taking, but if you're just in this just for flying, you know, just for the fun of flying, you know, I've really come to the opinion that the, uh, you know, the toys, the cheaper, you know, the X11, the X5, the uh, Eoshin H8. You know, these are actually really a lot more fun than uh, flying this thing, you know, which, not, not to say that this isn't fun, but it's just a little unnerving, a little more responsibility, you know. You know if you crash it, it's probably going to break. And if it hits somebody, you, you're probably going to be in some legal trouble, so... It's uh, you know, definitely not going to want to fly it around the neighborhood. And, you know, look, we've got a visitor here on the bicycle, and yeah, that could be a that could be a uh, walking lawsuit. <laughs> he got the hell out of here. But you get the idea, though. I think it's, it's, I really like this drone a lot. This is a great video and photography drone and yeah I think this is going to be my go-to photo drone at least until I work out some of the learning curve on the CX-20 and maybe if I eventually want to move up to something like a DJI, DJI Phantom this is a good stepping stone but yeah, I like flying in manual mode it's more you know these kind of auto flyers or you know they're uh, they're practical but if you're if you're doing this you know primarily for the fun of it I mean then I guess the cheaper ones are really almost more fun and I forgot to set the timer I am supposed to get about 10 minutes of flight time with this Probably been at about seven or eight now. I'm close to that. And yeah, I think I'll we'll probably bring this one in because I really don't want to crash it. Because <laughs> anything this big is not meant to be crashed. So, I see, as usually when I land my quads, I just fly them right to me and catch them, but. You don't want to do that with this one because those motors will probably eat you up pretty good. So let's see if I can do this. <laughs> I'm not 
that count. And there it is, my first ever real flight with the SEMA X8C, and uh, I really like it a lot. It's it's really great for uh, video and photography. So yeah, if you're if you're using drones to take pictures and take video, then yeah, I highly recommend this one. It will also carry a GoPro. It will carry other cameras other than the stock camera, and we'll see how the footage is on that. I imagine it's not great. It's just a two megabyte camera, but we'll see. Uh, we'll see how it does. So, catch you next time on RC Beach.